Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Delusional's Arcade. So in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and look at this here. This is a BNK 467 rejuvenator. What's really cool about this is that you don't have to always rejuvenate something. A lot of people say it's really harsh. This monitor that I'm working on on the left is one for my Outrun, and this one here is a great rejuvenator. You can also do a clean and balance on it, and it tests the tubes um, to make sure that each gun is firing correctly. You have the red, the green, and the blue. So we're gonna go through this one. This one here is working. And then after that, we're gonna stick into one from Rolling Thunder, which definitely needs a rejuvenation. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into the video. All right, guys, so I have everything out here. This is my rejuvenator. This thing is awesome. This thing is worth its weight in gold. I bought this, um, I guess from eBay, it was like $60. I got a steal for, for this thing. It's in really nice shape. The case is kind of falling apart a little bit like this here you can see like the inner foam it just it's all crumbling and it's terrible um so but it did come with all the adapters that you see here and buffett built me the one that i need so this is the one for the cr31 that i didn't have in the last episode or two episodes ago actually in episode two with the monitor but he did build it for me it looks like it fits perfectly and this is the one that i need so i'm gonna go ahead and throw it on but normally this is just the adapter it's universal Let's say I want the CR23, which is the most common that I've used. You kind of just line up the pins and that's it. And then you pop this on the monitor. So I'm going to take that off right here, throw this one on, and, and there it is. So this is the uh, one that I need. So I'm not going to plug it in just yet. I want to just kind of go over what I'm doing. But basically, it's kind of really cool how this works. And I'll kind of zoom in on here just so you can see it a little better. You have all the controls up here. This is the red, the green, and the blue. Um, this is how you actually press the button to actually send voltage through in order to rejuvenate it or to clean and balance. Um, a lot of people have, there's a misconception. A lot of people think, hey, this thing rejuvenates and it's really bad for your tube, but you can use this as a tester as well. This will test, there's a test mode on here, but you can test the um, colors and the tube itself and the guns just to see if it's functioning properly. They have strengths, like this is bad, Yellow is pretty average and good would be in the green. So you want to at least be somewhere in the green. I don't expect it to be all the way over in the green, but somewhere in there or maybe even yellow, which means its life is going to be um, shortened on that. So, you know, so the, let's see, the first control here, it kind of just goes from left to right. So left is off, right now it's off. You know, I don't have it plugged in at all. And all the way on the right is restore or clean and balance. So if you have it all the way to the left, if you look over here, it says select heater range, HTR is heater. And if you go on the website, I put a link in the description where you can actually punch up your tube. So in my case, my tube over here is A48ABK05X. You just type that in, in the dialog box on the website. It'll tell you the heater, the G1, the voltage for everything, and then also what type of neck it is. So I have the CR31 and the CR31 is what we have here. This is the Thing that I just showed you a second ago. So right now it says to set it for, the heater is gonna be set to 6.3 volts. So the voltage on the first one, if you look here, it has like a line. And right now it's 6.3. So you could select from zero to four, four to seven, seven to nine, eight, 11, and so on. I have it set for four to seven, which is 6.3 falls within that range. So you just select there. So that's step one, you're done. Now go to the next one, you go to setup. It says set heater and set G1. So what you're gonna do is on this one, it says heater and you see the voltage on that. And on this set, you'll see set G1. So on this meter, you'll see that where it says G1 and you set the voltage. So according to this paper, we're gonna set it to 6.3 and 50. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. After you set that up, click on the next one. Now you have these three here. And you're gonna set these, I'm turning them all the way to the left. You set it for one tick box. <laughs> so one tick box on there, you set it to 0.1 on each one. Some, you're gonna turn it all the way up and it'll be somewhere over there before you can hit that one. Others, you'll turn it right away. A healthy one, you should be able to turn it like right away and you'll see it, the needle move. You have to go all the way to the right, it's not really that great and it's dying on you. So that may need a rejuvenation, which may fix it, because after you rejuvenate it, you gotta go back to this uh, setup mode and then test it again. So the next mode would be test. So that's when you're actually going into it. When you hit test, you should see where everything is at. That's when everything shows you what's going on and you can kinda 
go, okay, you know, this one looks weak, this one looks okay, that one looks weak. So at that point, you can actually go to the right and then you go to restore. So you can go, right now, you can be in restore, you're not doing anything, not until you press these buttons. So right now it's okay, you set it for restore. And then you're gonna go, there's rejuvenate and clean and balance. So typically I go to clean and balance first, which is really a really kind of like a, um, not as harsh version of rejuvenation. It's not as, doesn't send as much voltage and it doesn't really uh, affect anything adversely. So once you set it to that, <clears throat> you have to actually hold the button down. And when you hold it down, what's gonna happen is the, the needles are gonna go all the way to the right and they're gonna slowly drop. And you're gonna let go of it right when it hits the red one. So you hold it down and you'll see this thing moving right here. It's going down, 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 down. When it goes to red, you let go. Same thing here, green goes all the way up, kind of goes down and you'll see it drop. As soon as it drops, you let go. Same thing, you go here, go all the way down and you let go. Once that's done, you're gonna go back into test mode just to see what happened. And then of course you can go back and do the whole thing over where you go to setup. You set up to make sure everything's at that one little tick past the zero. Same thing here and same thing there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. This time I'll turn it on. I just figured I'd do like a dry run right now just to see what you'd expect. All right guys, so the first thing I wanna do is to discharge your monitor. Um, some people don't do it because you don't really need to. You're just taking the neck off. Some people leave the anode cup on top on. I just like to disconnect everything. I like it completely free of the chassis. So I just go ahead and give it a quick uh, discharge. Um, this is a self-discharging monitor. After like 10 minutes, usually it's fine. Uh, but just in case you just, you know, do what you have to do where you kind of stick it in. So I'm just gonna remove the cup. Now that it's, I didn't hear any snaps or anything, I can kind of take it off. Don't do this at home. <laughs> if you do follow the uh, discharging procedures to discharge a monitor. So I usually take the node, uh, an anode cup off. Um, so there's that, let me put that on the side. I have my GoPro also set up here because I want you to see the actual sparklies and stuff. I'll try to do a picture in picture here so you can see what's going on. So as you're doing stuff over here, you can kind of see what's happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the back here. This is the neck board. Just kind of gently wiggle it off. And I'll just make sure I didn't do that because that was kind of harsh. Okay and you're gonna put the adapter on. So the adapter, you do this all while it's turned off. So make sure it's turned off here. Okay. Um, I do have it plugged in, but I don't have it turned on yet. And the other thing you wanna do is obviously you wanna unplug the monitor. So I'm gonna cut power here. Make sure my TPG is off. And I'm gonna unplug the game just in case. Okay. So right now I have it plugged in and it's on, but this is turned off because I have it in the off position. So you'll wanna have this as the CR31 adapter. Um, and then you'll see the pin is right there where the key is. And you kind of just push it in like that. So this here, this is the adapter, like I said, that um, Buffett made me. Um, it's a kind of used neck board, this little piece here. You need a donor board in order to make it. And he made this great adapter for me. So now that everything's all hooked up, uh, let me go ahead and go back onto this unit here. We'll have everything all set up and you can kind of see what's going on. All right guys, so I tried to get the best angle I could here. Um, I'm trying to have no light so you guys can see all the activity inside the, um, the actual tube itself. You usually see little sparkles and stuff when it's rejuvenating or cleaning it and stuff. But uh, I had to have some light in order to show you guys what's happening. Also, I can't zoom in on these right now because I'm gonna be, I figured this is the best angle where you can see everything at, where I'm turning everything. And I'll just tell you what's happening here. So um, what you're gonna do is you have to go to the website that I put a link in the description for, and you're gonna type in your tube number. So this tube number here is uh, A48ABK05X. The heater's set to 6.3 volts. The G1 is 50 volts, and the neck is obviously CR31. Um, so what you do is, since it's set for 6.3, the first thing we're gonna do is, right along here, when you have it in the off position, okay, I just turned it back off, um, you're gonna set it, there's zero to four, four to seven, there's a whole range of stuff you gotta do. So this 6.3 falls within four to seven. So I have mine set to four to seven. So 6.3 is somewhere within that, that range. You have to do that when it's off. There's like little 
kind of little uh, trees here where it tells you what to do. The next thing you do is you go to setup and then this one basically points to these two right here. So the heaters, you have to set, right now these are all set to, don't worry where they're pointing, they're all actually set to zero all the way to the left. And on this one here, don't think that this is, uh, this is good. This is actually the blue. <laughs> don't think this is good and this is bad. What this is doing is just the setup where you're actually adjusting the voltage. So this has nothing to do, this readout here has nothing to do with how the monitor, um, I guess the health of the monitor at all. It's just to adjust stuff because we're in the setup mode. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is you see here on setup, it's kind of pointing to these two, the heater and the G1. Those are the same voltages that you see on here. So right now, this one says to set it to 6.3 and 50. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heater one. You're gonna see on the bottom here, you can't really see it on camera, but I, I'll give you a close up right now, just a quick pic so you can see of how it looks. But there's um, kind of like red things on the bottom and you have to just kind of dial it up until you go to 6.3. So let's see if I can, oops, that's the wrong one here. 6.3 is right there. Okay, so the next thing you have to do is a G1. So G1 would be the next dial over here. So that's set to 50 volts. So all along the bottom goes from zero to 100. You're gonna set that for 50 volts. And you can move it left and right, you know, you just slowly move it up. Right now it's not doing anything to the monitor. You're just kind of setting this thing to do what it has to do. And that's done. So now you have to go to set cutoff. And right now I have everything set to, you know, all the way to the left. And depending on the monitor, um, sometimes you'll, you'll go like a long way, like this one here. You'll go a long way before you can adjust it. See, I'm all the way to the right here. So that means it's pretty weak. Same thing here. Yeah, I'm going a long way before I can set it to where I gotta set it. And then this one here, same thing. Not as bad, these are actually worse. So that makes sense because the blue was fine, the green and the red were kind of shot. So you have to set it to one unit and it ranges from zero to 20 on the top. And it doesn't really tell you in the manual um, like Buffett said in his video. And he has a great video, I'll put a link in the description as well if you wanna see his video, which is how I learned. Um, you'll wanna set it to one unit. So right next to the zero, there's like a little tick mark here. You want to just set that to, to one and it may take a little while and it's okay if you pass it, you can just lower it. So that looks pretty good right there. Next one over. This is the next gun I'm doing. Same thing. I'm setting that to the one tick. And then of course I'm doing the last one here. This is the blue. And I'm setting that to one tick. There we go. Okay, so you have everything set to that. So then you move on to the next step. So now you're gonna go to test mode. And in test mode, this is gonna tell you exactly what's going on with the monitor. So right now, everything in this monitor looks good. It's a little bit in the yellow, and I expected that, because this is a good monitor that I know works in my outrun. And the colors look okay, they look a little drab. And it's probably because they're not at their full potential. So this one here is a little bit in yellow. That one is about to go in yellow, and then the blue um, isn't good, but it's on the beginning of blue. So I definitely wanna do, I'm not gonna do a rejuvenate right now. I'm gonna do a clean and balance. That's a less harsh rejuvenation process. So let me go ahead and just put this over here and show you what we have to do. So now I'm gonna go over to restore. And restore, I have it set, before you switch it over, you wanna set to clean and balance or rejuvenate. I'm sending it over to clean and balance. So you go to restore, everything drops down. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the button down for each gun, and then when it, when it goes up, it's gonna kinda drop down slowly, and when it goes to red, you're gonna let go. So let me do it with, the, with this one here. And by the way, I have the picture in picture up right now so you can see what's going on. And here we go, here's the red. Yeah, that one is not really doing much. Let's try this one here. Same thing, it's not really doing much. So, typically it will kind of jump to the right and then fall slowly, so it's not really doing anything. So, I wonder if I need to rejuvenate this. <laughs> typically the clean and balance will set it. Now let, before I do anything, I'm actually gonna go back to test to see 
And it looks like it actually did do something. This is really good. So you can see the blue got better. The green is still dropping a little bit, but it got better. And then this one at least isn't in yellow anymore. So what do you guys think? Should I do it again? Yeah, I think we're gonna do it once more, the clean and balance. I'm not gonna do rejuvenate, but before you do that, you have to remember, you have to always go back and set your cutoff because it changes. So now that the tube is better, it's a little more responsive, I can put it to where it goes. So you put it on the one tick mark again. And is there. Okay, so now you go to test. And actually that's in the green now, see? Because I had adjusted it. So they're all in the green. This one still needs a little bit of work. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to restore. And you don't have to do these if you don't want to. So I'm just gonna do this one. I'm gonna hold it down for a little bit. It's still in the yellow. And now I'm letting go. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to test. And now look, it looks way better. It's dropping down, kind of equalizing here. This one seems a little weak, the red. That's what I had noticed. I noticed that the car wasn't as bright red as it, as it should have been. Hmm. You know what? I think what I'm gonna do is I might do a quick rejuve on this just to see what happens. See, I'm taking the risk, guys. You, you guys aren't. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead, you go back to cutoff, and I'm gonna set this back. I'm gonna make sure it's on one, that's on one. Yeah, they all look good. So I'm gonna switch it to rejuvenate this time. Uh, but before I do that, let me hit the test to see what's going on. And I'm gonna go to restore, and you'll see the sparklies happen. So you'll see it go all the way to the right, and then kind of go down, and then I'll let go. See, right now it's on the green near the yellow and it's supposed to go down to red but that's a long time so I'm gonna let go next one that one kind of goes down there that one worked really well this one here and come on I see the sparklies happening and let me let go okay so right now things are good I always look here too to make sure there's no shorts I'm gonna quickly, I think I'll do this one again really quick. It's supposed to drop, it's not doing anything. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to test. And you'll see everything looks pretty good. This one is not looking too good right now. These look great. You can see it's kinda, you have to wait a couple seconds for it to equalize here. Okay. I'm gonna go back to set cutoff. And I'm gonna go ahead and dial these back in. So this one's gonna be one tick right there. This one is not doing anything. So that's not, I actually see it moving. I can see it moving. It's just very weak. So obviously it didn't like, sometimes you gotta do it a couple times. These two look good. The green doesn't look good at all. So now that that's set, I'm gonna go to test again. So these look okay. This one here is in yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a rejuve again, but just on this gun right here. So I'm gonna go to the right here, and I'm gonna just do the green here. So I'm gonna hold it down, and hopefully you'll see some flashing in the neck. You can see all that stuff happening right there. And then I let go, and then now I'm gonna go back to test, and bam, everything's good to go. So that looks good. I'm gonna, I think I'm happy with that. I think the colors are gonna look a little vibrant. This one here worries me. It kind of drops a little bit, the red. But right now, it was in yellow before. Let's just remember where it was, and it's way better than it was before. These are well into the greens. So I'm really happy with that. So just to be safe, let's go back. Set the cutoff again to get a true value here. So that's set to one, that's set to one. This one can go to one a little bit higher. And now you go to test. And that's it. And by the way, guys, if you're just testing a monitor, you can just go to test. You don't have to go to the restore portion. You can just test it to see where it's at. You know, you do all the settings, you kind of download what you have to do and look at it here, and then just test it. So it's harmless to test it. It's not gonna do anything to it. And that's it. So at this point, I think this monitor here is rejuvenated. So I'm gonna just turn it all the way off. When I turn it off, I typically just turn all these down just to make sure everything's set. Same thing with this. 
and that's set to 4.7, 4.27, which is 6.3, so we should be good to go. So let me go ahead and uh, plug this back in and we can kind of see the colors and how they look. Okay, so I'm set up over here. It's looking pretty good. So let me go ahead and uh, turn it on. I'll plug it in over here. And let's see here. All right. And I have my TPG, so I'm gonna grab that and we can kind of see what, how the colors look. So let's see, I'm gonna turn it on. All right, so there it is. Let me kind of cycle through the colors. Wow, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. You could see a little bit of a curve up here. I capped this monitor and I still have a tiny bit of a little curve. There's like a bending here. Um, but I guess that's typical with these, these kind of monitors, K7000s. Um, but for me, you know, it's not important. You're not gonna really see it in game. You can see it more pronounced over here, the curves. I'm sure I could adjust it out, but these, these colors look really good. I have to say, they look really rich. <laughs> I'm not used to this, actually. It looks really good. Before they looked a tiny bit washed out. And this looks really, really good. There's green and there's blue. And the red, that's white. And then of course you have, yep. It looks really awesome. So let me go ahead, this looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the outrun. We can kind of take a look at it and see where we're at. And then we'll go ahead and rejuvenate the second one. Okay guys, so we're back. So I have my outrun here, it's kind of open. Um, I left it open just in case I need to pull it out again. I don't wanna to have to take all the glass off and everything. Um, but I did plug it in in the back. I plugged in the RGB connector and everything that I need to do. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and power it on. I also removed the top of it. I mean, outruns are notorious. They're just such a pain to get into when you're doing monitors. <laughs> so um, I don't think I really have to adjust much but I could see definitely like the blues are super, super bright on this thing. It looks totally different. <laughs> it looks really gorgeous on the, I'm looking at the uh, display right here on the camera. It looks pretty good. Um, but for me, it looks like a little tad too much, too much red. And I think that's because I had set it previously to not have as, to kind of crank up the red because the gun wasn't working as good. So luckily the red is right here. So let me see if I can adjust those levels. And I'm just gonna go look. It's pretty easy to look at at this point. Yeah, that looks a little better. See, I had it kind of, that's way too much red right there. I'm kind of dialing it down. So you gotta kind of figure out what the balance is. Yeah, that looks just like the screen I'm looking at to the right. <laughs> it looks pretty dead on. This is actually really bright red, that Outrun car you saw there, and this one's a little more on the pink side. And it matches perfectly. This is pink, that's great. All right, so that looks great. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this alone. I'm gonna close it up. I got my Outrun back. I had it kind of down for a couple of weeks while I was working on this whole fiasco with the monitor and Rolling Thunder. So I'm really happy this is good. It looks beautiful. So let me go ahead and put this back in, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bust out the other tube, and we can go ahead and rejuvenate that. All right guys, so this is a tube. This is the Rolling Thunder tube, the second one. Hopefully this one uh, will get uh, some life into it again because it's pretty much uh, dead. It looks like it's on its last leg. Hopefully we'll be able to save it. What's really cool about it being half dead though is that I'm not really afraid to, to break it. <laughs> so I'm really gonna be pretty harsh and see if we can kind of get this thing back to life. But if it dies, it's not a big deal because these uh, CR31s are pretty common in TV. So I'm gonna see what I can do. So as opposed to the other one, when I was showing you the controls and everything, I'm gonna give you a close up. I'm gonna zoom in right now to give you a close up of the meters. That way you can see exactly what's happening. You can see what state it's in and how uh, hopefully we'll try to bring it back to life. Okay, so this is a better angle where you can see exactly what's going on with the meters. Um, you saw the first part, so I figured I wouldn't show you again. And this will be a little more detailed so you can get a feel of doing it. It's not really too hard. Um, I'm not worried about, again, killing this uh, tube because it's pretty much gone at this point. So anything positive on this point would be good. So let's go and uh, let me see. It's on the off position. I'm setting it to four to seven, which is 6.3 because it's the same tube. And let me go to setup now. You'll see the meters move. 
And right now it should be set for the last tube. Okay, so now that that's done, I go to set cutoff. Right now they're set to all be to the left. So I'm gonna go to set cutoff. I'm not expecting good stuff on this. So uh, let's actually do the blue first. The blue I'm expecting at least something. So you'll see I'm turning it all the way up and nothing's happening. Well, actually towards the end it does. So it's really, really, really weak. So I'm gonna set that to the one tick mark right there. And then this one, same thing. And this one, I'm actually turning it all the way to the right and nothing's happening. Let's see about this one. Yep, same thing, I'm all the way to the right and nothing's happening. So this is dead, that's dead. That looks like it's pretty weak because it's towards the end. So uh, this is definitely gonna need to rejuvenate, so make sure it's on there. Yep, set to rejuvenate. Now I'm gonna hit test, this is the moment of truth. Let's see what we see here, the condition it's in. All right, so you can see on the right, the blue one, which is working, is in bad because it's in bad condition here, but these are totally dead. Like I'm gonna go back, okay? And you'll look at these here, you're not even gonna see them move. These are totally dead. Um, hopefully the rejuve will do something to there. Yeah, but right now it's doing nothing. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and see what's happening when I rejuve it. So I'm gonna switch it to restore now. Goes back down. Okay, so let's do the blue first because that one's the one we know that's alive. Let's see. See all the sparkles happen? There we go, I just let go as soon as it hit red. All right, so let's see if about green now. Looks like uh, I'm looking at the button here that says there's a short. Right now, I see short lighting up over here. Um, yeah, let me hit remove shorts. There's a button you press below it. And you'll see it flashing and doing stuff. It's trying to remove shorts. Try again. Okay, now let's try green again. I'll usually let it cool down a little bit. Okay, now let's try red, which was also dead. Usually if you see a lot of activity inside there, you know that something's going on. So now that I did that, I'm gonna go back to test. And, oh, these came alive all of a sudden. That's great. That also went to good. So these are pretty much up there. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to set cutoff. You see they're set really high, because this is all the way to the right. So I'm gonna kind of switch that down and go back to where I need to. Let's see. Right there. Same thing over here. Set that to the first tick. Is that right? It's hard to see at this angle I'm at. There we go. And then this one. Okay. So these are about at the same level right now. You can see they're all pointing that way. So they're pretty much even. So that's a good sign. So let's go to test again. And I don't like the fact that they're doing that. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like these came alive. So that's good, we rejuvenated it. So we actually brought it back to life. So let me try going to restore, but I think I'm gonna do a clean and balance just to see what's going on here. So let me go ahead and press it here. Okay, next one. Okay, and the next one. Okay, let's go back to test. Yeah, these are pinned on the right. That's really good. This one too now. All right, I'm not sure why they're kind of twitching like that. I'm guessing it's because they're set too much to the right. So if I were to turn this down, it would go down. But let's go back to the tick mark. Yep, that helped it a little bit too because now I got to turn this one down. Kind of trying to stick my head in here. It's really hard to get it there. There we go. That one's set pretty much good. A 
Okay, let's see, test again. All right, to me, they're all in the green. So we're gonna leave this alone and it looks like it was successful, it worked. That's great. So it's probably, it was just there for years because these really, when they got alive, they were really strong. So I'm guessing this was happening for a while and it just got left there, just sitting there doing nothing for years. <laughs> so that's awesome. So I'm pretty confident if we stick this in now, it's gonna look great. Okay, so I hooked up the monitor to, or the tube to the chassis and I have my TPG ready. I just wanna double check everything that I have, everything all hooked up. This is the board. You can see these are the pots that I replaced thinking that it was that. Um, and the anode cups all on there. All right, looks like it's good to go. Let me just make sure the decals coil is plugged in. Yep. Okay, so it's all hooked up. We'll see what happens when I turn it on. And um, the other thing too is you can see here, I replaced this. This is actually for a Geo7 monitor. Um, it's a pot kit, but it was the only 10K pot I had on hand. So I kind of bent the legs to make it fit and it actually is pretty sturdy there. So I'm probably just gonna leave it there. It was just a spare I had because one of these, um, like I said, I robbed this one for my outrun, which was broken. So let me go ahead and just kind of wheel you guys over here. We'll go towards the front of the monitor and let's see if it has any really nice colors or not. Let me also turn off my desoldering. Is it off? Yeah, it's off, okay, cool. All right, so let me go ahead and plug it in. All right, so we got neck glow. I can hear the static. That's good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the TPG. Fingers crossed, this worked. Did the redo fix it? And it's blue, but this is white, so that's good. Um, in order to get white, you need all RGB. That looks okay. Yep, there you go. All colors are there. Awesome. You can see the burning. <laughs> that's great. Yep, you can see it burning really well there. And I'm not convinced it's rolling thunder. It looks like, kind of looks like a grid of some sort. I wonder, I mean, I guess it could be rolling thunder. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Looks like there's characters up there. But yeah, looks like red right there, green is right there, and blue. So we did manage to save this monitor, believe it or not. It's a little bit off, you can see over here. And this, well, no, oh yeah, actually you need the other. I wonder if I make it brighter, if that'll fix it. Let's see. Oh, the contrast. Let's see here. Oops. I don't know what I just did now. I might've pressed on it too hard or something. I think it's, I hit the power cable actually. All right, we'll try messing with the flyback. There we go. There she is. And then I'll turn down the brightness. I'll do the opposite. That's the contrast right there. All right, so for now that looks pretty decent. <clears throat> Convergence actually isn't that bad. And I'll turn it down later. And this looks a little off. You can see right here and here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Test out the pots. Now that we know everything's working, what did I do with my tool? Hmm. Ah, here it is. Okay, so this is a tool. Let me just double check that you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Yep. So I'm just gonna go ahead on right over here. Uh, let me just fix this over here. There we go. me putting this in that's good so right here is the here's the blue which is on the side so if I look at it here well, it's changing the hue of it a little bit which I don't want let me try to cut off see if I can move it over a little bit I'm trying to get this out of here yeah it's going a little bit and then right now this is green and now I'm going to take some red I 
I mean, you could be here for hours dialing, trying to dial in a monitor. <laughs> but it looks pretty good, considering. All right, guys, so I guess that about concludes it. We're gonna stop here because this video is just about rejuvenating. And this thing is awesome. Like I said, it's worth its weight in gold. Um, and thanks again to Buffett who made that adapter for me, this one right here, and who showed me on YouTube. Um, again, I'll leave a link to his uh, video in the description. You can check it out where he has this exact model and it kind of shows how to use it. So hopefully this was good in depth where you got to see everything close up. You got to see it in action and you got to see a dead monitor basically turn into this. I'm psyched. <laughs> So I'll dial it out right now. I'm, I think I'm just gonna do a separate video on a cap kit on this thing, and then we'll just get it all uh, buttoned up and put back into the Rolling Thunder, and then this one right here will become my spare. So thanks again for watching it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.